That's Jim going up the scaffold. Scaffold. That's Jim stopping the pole. He wants to be a stripper. Jim, show him how you wrap, wrap yourself around the pole. Oh, okay. Yeah, I need to know. Mooney. Hello, my viewers. Mooney. In this video, I went ahead and cleaned that evaporator coil in the air handler where I installed the access door in the previous video. I could easily rename this video, Don't Try This at Home. In reality, the proper procedure for cleaning an evaporator coil in an air handler is to remove the evaporator from the air handler so that you can take it somewhere where you can uh, clean it without having to get anything else so wet and dirty. I just thought I'd go ahead and clean this one in place. Um, on with the show. Probably remember from my previous video about where I put the access door in place and now we're going to clean this coil. First of all I'm going to take my hose here and I'm just going to get the coil ooh, wet play along with me. Whoa. Yeah. Okay. I got the coil wet and the next step is to put some coil cleaner on here. To do that I'm using my pump sprayer with some coil cleaner in it right here. Pump this up. Then you see I go ahead and spray the coil cleaner on the coil. I've got to get this coil cleaner off of there. Oh, crap. The coil cleaner has had a chance to uh, foam up a little bit. Uh, this coil was pretty bad off, so it didn't really foam up real good yet. But what I'm going to do first is take vac a wet vac and try to suck off some of the dirt, some of the surface dirt before I uh, put a hose to it. I went ahead and vacuumed off a lot of the surface dirt that I could remove easily with my wet vac after putting the coil cleaner on there. Now I'm going to take my water hose and see what happens when I get it wet again. More than likely I'll get wet too. Let's see what happens. I'll probably get my camera wet again. Ooh, yep, sure did. But <laughs> Hold on. I am so hard on my camera. Alright, and as you can see, I've cleared off uh, quite a bit of the junk on that side. Now I'm going to do this side right here. Uh, balance my. Oh, yeah. oh. Oh. I'm probably going to get wet again. I just hope my camera doesn't too bad. Okay, I went ahead and vacuumed all the surface dust and uh, hosed it off once. Now, 
and I applied an, a second coat of coil cleaner. Now I'm going to use my wet vac again to try to get some more of this surface stuff off, plus some of the uh, the foam. Okay. ahead and gave this coil another dallas of coil cleaner I'll let this set a little bit more and then this should do the trick I'll take a hose and clean the rest of it up and it'll be sparkling clean I also have a dirty condensate pan in here that has to come clean as you can see the supply side of this coil looks pretty clean but remember the return side, which is usually the absolute dirtiest, because it gets the dirt first, um, is what really needs to come clean. So we'll go ahead and clean all this up too with a vacuum. Okay, I'd say we're pretty clean here. Through in here. Looks pretty good to me. And we're pretty clean up here. The evaporator coil looks at least 100% better than it did.